Hi guys, so if you're looking for a treatment for acne or something that you can do at home to reduce or improve your acne, then blue light therapy is probably something that you have researched or seen people using or talking about. So we're going to go into a little bit more detail in this video as to what actually is blue light therapy, how does it work and the science behind it because there is a lot of scientific research behind it but I just wanted to sort of summarise how it, you know, what the benefits of blue light therapy are. So number one is that is antibacterial because it's working on reducing the main acne causing bacteria on the skin. Number two it is anti-inflammatory so it does work to reduce the inflammatory markers that can cause acne to be red and swollen. Number two is it, it's not a harsh treatment, it's chemical free, it doesn't dry out the skin. So that's a massive benefit, especially if you have sensitive skin or you also suffer with ex, um, eczema or psoriasis or anything like that because sometimes using these harsh products can sort of set you back with your other skin condition. So that's another great one. It's easy to use at home. They come in sort of like, you know, you can get an LED wand um, device like this, or you can get the LED face masks, um, which you can use. I would always recommend if you are looking for a targeted LED treatment to use the LED mask, because it covers a larger surface area of the skin as compared to these ones. These ones are great for kind of like little spots areas if you you know predominantly get them in certain areas like around your jaw or your forehead but if you have acne all over then I'll definitely recommend the LED face mask because as you can see compared to the handhelds it does cover a larger area there's more LEDs there's more power coming on so you'll definitely get a better and more effective treatment for the skin. So blue light therapy is a non-invasive treatment and it has gained a lot of attention for its effectiveness in treating mild to moderate acne. This specific therapy uses um, specific wavelengths of blue light to reduce um, the main acne causing bacteria, um, reduce inflammation and reduce and regulate sebum production. So understanding how blue light therapy works and its mechanisms and also the scientific evidence because it has a lot of scientific evidence behind it is crucial for those if you're considering using blue light therapy in your skincare treatment. So I'm going to go through um, all those bits for you now. So the science behind blue light therapy um, is pretty amazing because I never thought that light therapy would have such an impact on the skin. But blue light therapy primarily targets on our skin, um, we have lots of bacteria which is normal, um, but primarily targets the bacteria that's called the Propione bacteria, which has just recently been named to QT bacterium. Um, or C. acneus for sure. It's that bacteria that kind of develops on our skin and there's three different types and they become a bit unbalanced and when they become unbalanced that's when we get sort of symptoms of acne. So when we're using blue light therapy, the blue light therapy is shown to penetrate the layers of the skin where this bacteria is and this bacteria contains components that are light sensitive components and when exposed to the blue light they undergo a photochemical reaction that produces reactive oxygen species um, or ROS for short is sort of toxic to the bacteria and it kind of leads to the destruction of this bacteria and as you reduce that bacteria it improves your acne. So the mechanisms of how blue light therapy works is in three different ways. The first one is antibacterial. So as I just explained earlier, blue light therapy targets the main acne causing bacteria and sort of kills and reduces that bacteria, therefore allowing your sort of skin to improve from your acne symptoms. The second way, the second mechanism of how um, blue light therapy works is it's anti-inflammatory. So a lot of people talk about red light therapy being anti-inflammatory, but blue light therapy is also shown to be, have anti-inflammatory effects as well. And there are studies to indicate that the blue light therapy can reduce the production of the pro-inflammatory cytokines. And that basically means they're involved in sort of the inflammatory response and the inflammatory response of acne because acne is sort of a chronic 
inflammatory skin condition. So it works to reduce inflammation. As it works to reduce inflammation, it helps to, again, improve the signs and symptoms of acne. The third mechanism by which blue light therapy works is the sort of reduction and improvement of sebum regulation. So sebum is the oil that we produce on our skin. The oily substance is produced by our sebaceous glands. In acne, these are kind of like become a lot more, you know, there's a lot more oil on the skin in, in some people and that's what increases the acne because it leads to clogged pores, increases the bacteria on the skin that I was just talking about earlier. Um, so all these things sort of tie in together and sort of increase your acne. So there are some studies that show that blue light therapy may help regulate sebum production, which leads to the reduction in oil production and the sort of decreases the likelihood of clogged pores or pore blockages and again improves your acne symptoms so to support the sort of um stuff that i've just been saying about blue light therapy there, there are lots of studies out there but i'm going to, just going to name a few so i'm going to start with three so the first one was a study on blue light therapy compared to benzoyl peroxide so benzoyl peroxide is topical application which you're given by your gp or your dermatologist um, to help reduce sort of the acne um, symptoms so it was compared with blue light therapy and when they compared it in the study they found that blue light therapy had almost the same effects as using benzoyl peroxide just that blue light therapy didn't have the side effects that you get with benzoyl peroxide which is skin dryness irritation um, and stuff like that um, and in some cases as well using benzoyl peroxide can cause like extreme dryness of the skin so um, that's a really good study that was published in the journal of cosmetic and laser therapy um, and it's good to know because it shows you that blue light therapy is just as good as the conventional treatments for acne which have been out there for years so another study that was published in the British Journal of Dermatology was looking at the combination of red and blue light therapy for treating acne. So a lot of people think that just blue light therapy is just for acne, red lights for anti-aging. But sometimes com combining the both of them works really well. And it was found in this study that using red light alongside blue light worked to produce better results and that's because the red light penetrates deeper into the skin and promotes healing and reduces inflammation topically and from the dermis you're working to sort of eradicate and reduce the symptoms of acne the last study um, that i'm going to talk about is a study that compared the sort of long-term effects of blue light therapy long-term efficiency of blue light therapy it was a research published in the journal of clinical and aesthetic dermatology and it evaluated the long-term efficiency of blue light therapy the study followed patients for 12 weeks after completing an eight-week treatment regime um, the results indicated that the reduction in acne persisted um, during the follow-up as well and um, suggesting that blue light therapy does have lasting benefits for acne management and this is because like I was saying earlier blue light therapy is working to regulate sort of hot structures in your skin and once it regulates that it does have the long-term effects it's not a topical like a plaster on a wound um, where it's just there temporarily and then when you take it off you, you could bleed or something like that. It is working on your underlying structures like your bacteria, your sebum. If you're using red light therapy in combination it's working on your dermis level and making those structural changes so it does have um, a lot of impact on the skin which can be um, which can stay for long term as well as compared to other conventional treatments on the market for acne. So just a final study actually I thought I'd mention is there was a study to sort of look at um, at home devices and the use of blue light therapy at home because a lot of the research um, they do use more professional style devices whereas with this one they specifically used a home use device and with the increasing availability of blue light therapy at home the study published in Lasers in Surgery and Medicine assessed the safety and efficiency of these devices. The study concluded that at home blue light devices, 
were absolutely safe to use and could get you the same results as the sort of professional treatments that you can have. They effectively reduced sort of acne lesions and particularly when used sort of consistently. And that's a key with using blue light therapy in acne treatment is consistency. Consistency is key in treating acne. So in this research, they found that it was it, it worked to treat the acne lesions and they did emphasize that as long as the client followed the manufacturer's protocols and they were consistent with their treatment they could achieve the optimal results so that's good to know because a lot of people do question whether at home blue light therapy devices are good enough and are they as good as professional treatments so there's a study to show that yes they are especially when you purchase a good quality device where the parameters have been measured and it's made from good components then you definitely will get the results that you're looking for acne varies in severity so there's mild moderate and severe acne I think from what I know in terms of research and working with clients who have acne and blue light, um, using blue light therapy on them, mild to moderate acne responds really well to blue light therapy and you can get really good results. Um, when you start to look at more severe and cystic acne, blue light therapy alone may not be the solution for some people and you may need to combine it, combine it with other topical um, creams or even sort of um, oral medication as well. Most treatments that are recommended require multiple sessions over several weeks or months. Um, and while you can see improvement straight away within a few weeks, for sustained results and permanent results, you have to continue going, uh, continue using um, the blue light therapy. Um, and this is where the key is, is to follow the guidelines that we set in our sort of protocols for the devices that you purchase. Um, and that enables you to get the best results. Um, in terms of potential side effects from blue light therapy, blue, blue light therapy is generally very safe. There's a lot of people asking about sort of, is it bad for your eyes? In our devices, it can't affect the eyes because we have built-in goggles. So the light doesn't really come near the eyes and it's not directly shining on the eyes. The thing is sometimes people do um, report a bit of dryness, but that's not from the LED itself. That's from the fact that if LED is the LED is working to reduce your acne, um, the acne itself, while it's going, produces dryness on the skin. So we do recommend using sort of sheet masks and hydrating ingredients while you're undergoing this that sort of treatment um, with blue light therapy. So blue light therapy represents a promising and scientifically backed approach to treating acne. And it works by targeting the root cause, which is the sort of C. acnes bacteria on the skin, or used to be called the P. acnes bacteria. And it also offers an anti-inflammatory and sebum regulating um, effects as well on the skin. And this is really good because it's targeting different areas of the skin to produce that results. It's not targeting just one area. So it's it provides a non-invasive and safe, effective option if you're struggling with acne and it doesn't have many side effects that you get with other conventional treatments like dryness some people get extreme dryness it doesn't come back when you stop using your blue light therapy for a couple of weeks so it does have long-term effects compared to conventional treatments while it's not a one-size-fits-all solution it can be an excellent addition to a comprehensive sort of skincare routine it will be especially beneficial to those with mild to moderate acne and like i said with anybody with severe acne should sort of consult get a skin expert or you know speak to us as well and get more advice before starting the sort of treatment or routine so there you have it that's a little bit more information in depth about blue light therapy i really hope that's helped you in your sort of research into this therapy and treatment for your skin and i hope you've learned a lot today as well if you have any questions do drop us a comment below or pop us an email we're really happy to help and sort of talk to you about your skin because we know everybody's skin is different we don't all even if we have acne 
we don't all have it on our skin in the same way it doesn't present in the same way so if you need some more bespoke advice just drop us a comment below um, and we'd love to sort of speak to you about your skin but otherwise continue with your skincare journeys and skincare routines I uh, hope our videos have been helpful to you and you all learn a lot more about LED light therapy and your sort of skin as a whole we try and sort of approach our information from a more scientific angle and give you a little bit more information on that but also so um, from the scientific angle, we also treat clients with these conditions so we know exactly how these treatments respond on client skin. So we're able to also give you that information from that sort of um, experience that we have. So if you've got anything else, let us know. But otherwise, like, subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.